I wish they'd shut their mouths and get their mentality out of their crotches. There was nothing coming out of our government's efforts. But no, they march in the streets. They defy you. How's this for new? Jen asked me to have a baby with her. That is so Brooklyn. Can't tell our people they can vote yes on abolishing slavery unless at the same time we can tell them that you're seeking a negotiated peace. So, Peter, you're in Los Angeles this weekend for uh, the two uh, big events in the film world. Yeah, I just got here um, last night and I'm going to the Spirit Awards ice tomorrow and then uh, to the Oscars on Sunday night. So, uh, in regards to, let's talk about the Independent Spirit Awards first of all. There are some uh, gay films and filmmakers who are up for some stuff. Um, who are they? And yeah, I mean, relative to the Oscars, the Spirit Awards are super gay this year. Uh, Keep the Lights On has a bunch of nominations, including Best Film. Uh, Gaby has a nomination, I think, for Best First Screenplay. And How to Survive a Plague, which is also nominated for an Oscar, um, is, I think, the front runner there to win the Documentary Award. AIDS is now the leading cause of death. Demonstrators blocked access to buildings. A coalition of gay groups came to shut down the FDA. Now, the Oscars this year, any particularly <coughs> queer-themed films? Well, other than How to Survive a Plague, it's it's pretty slim pickings. Um, I mean, I guess in a way you could say that Les Miserables has a gay following, so uh, there's something there for people. And Lincoln, I guess, was written by an openly gay man, uh, Tony Kushner, who also wrote Angels in America. And uh, there has been some suggestion that there's sort of like a queer reading that can be made about Lincoln. But uh, other than those two films, it's, it's How to Survive a Plague. It's pretty much the sole queer representation at the Oscars. Who are you rooting for? Uh, How to Survive a Plague. I'm also really rooting for uh, Amour, which is the Michael Haneke film, um, which is you know one of the first foreign language films, I think in like 10, 15 years, to be nominated for Best Picture. Mm -hmm. And uh, the lead actress, Emmanuel Riva, she's turning 86 on the night of the Oscars. It's going to be her first trip to Los Angeles. And she's sort of a, you know, a possible uh, upset to Jennifer Lawrence in Best Actress. That's my number one hope of all of them is that she wins. It seems that this year, the Academy Awards, though, they are very gay friendly in the sense that Barbara Streisand's there, there's going to be a whole tribute to musicals, mm -hmm. which, you know, queers in general do enjoy, in general. You don't, though, do you? But no, I mean, I'm not a huge musical fan, but, um, but yeah, I feel like, because they, Seth MacFarlane is hosting, which is not, you know, the gayest choice they ever made, but I felt like they're, uh, maybe they're, they're making up for that with all these, you know, super gay things they're doing, like Barbra Streisand's performing for the first time since the 70s, uh, Adele is performing, which, I mean, yeah. it's James Bond, so it's, um, they're going to have a whole, uh, the rumors that all five James Bonds are going to come on stage for the first time ever while Adele's singing. Um, and then they're doing a, a tribute to modern musicals. Jennifer Hudson is singing the song from Dreamgirls, Catherine St. Jones is singing the song from Chicago, and then the whole cast of Les Mis is going to get on stage and sing whatever, I Dreamed a Dream, or whatever those songs are. I'm not, I'm not a Les Mis so connoisseur. You will be at the cocktail bar. You'll be at the bar drinking when they're performing, aren't you? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm going, but apparently my seats are like as nosebleed as they get. So um, there's an open bar in the lobby that everyone goes to, and, and the Oscars are on screen there. So I figure I'll just hang up there and try and uh, make friends with drunken celebrities. Well, um, uh, have a great time. Don't get uh, into a lot of trouble. Um, don't, don't attack any elderly celebrities who are 86 years old and French. <laughs> Uh, a hug is not an attack, is it? We'll see. All right. Well, have fun. Thanks, Peter. Have Thanks for doing this. Bye. Oh, oh, bye.